Hi and welcome to Mountain Aromatics. Today I wanted to back up the train a little bit and do some um, basics for perfumery because I've had a lot of questions that are people are just getting started and are like what is this and um, they're basics so I thought I would just make a quick video going over some basic things so first question was what is an accord so an accord if you think like music a um, there are notes and there are chords so I have three individual notes here so this is um, Cavon, Cavon. <laughs> of course I picked the hard ones um, benzyl salicate and um, geronol acetate so those are three individual notes this is a note when you put for the definition of a, an accord when two, two or more notes are put together that is an accord so this is an accord add another note this is an accord so two or more it could be 400 notes um and yeah, two or more, so 400 doesn't really matter how many, that's what an accord is. But the point of an accord, and I'm going to grab one really quick, it is mine that I made, it's a floral accord. So this floral accord, the point to it is to have floral notes where not one particular let's just say rose stands out but that all the different notes that I put in there harmonize with each other and go together and blend well just like when you have a choir you don't want to hear an individual voice in the choir that's just a little off and you need to work that that's not correct that's not how it works a choir is supposed to be in harmony together where you hear all the voices together as one that's really the point of an accord so um i mean i could do you know a and i did like a jasmine rose accord and the point is to have jasmine and rose but i in this floral accord i wanted it to be different florals blending harmonizing together where one doesn't stick out of the crowd so that's what an accord is and that's how you make an accord so hope that is helpful i had a um another question and it was um about what is perfumers alcohol and um IPM. This is isopropyl myristat. It is an, an emollient for the skin and it helps bring your perfume into the skin and deeper into the skin and stay, instead of staying on the top layer of the skin. When you use just alcohol, it's pretty much going to stay on the top part of your skin but if you have some isopropyl myristat in your formula or in your um, final formula your perfume it's going to help it especially if your perfume is meant to be sprayed on the skin IPM is going to help it last longer on the skin because it's going to penetrate into the skin. This has skin softening properties to it as well. Very important and very awesome. This is not a natural product for those of you who care. It's not a natural product. Um, it does not dissipate. It's not a volatile oil. Um, meaning if you left the cap off it's not going to evaporate 
essential oils or volatile oils, they will evaporate if you leave the cap off. Same thing with the perfumer's alcohol. It um, is very volatile and dissipates quickly. This does not. That's another reason some people, when they are cutting their materials, they will choose to use IPM rather than perfumer's alcohol for that reason. It will not dissipate. So six months down the road, the same amount is in there where honestly, when you cut another, um, okay, let me just show you. So I have, um, this is my tuberose that actually I made. I grew tuberose flowers and I soaked them in alcohol. That's a whole long another story, but I, I just did. So this is alcohol in here with the tuberose aroma. Six months from now, even if I had not taken this top off, it may go down a tiny bit. And you're like, but the cap's on there. I know that's really weird, but that can happen where a tiny bit of that um, aroma will, not the aroma, a tiny bit of the alcohol will dissipate out of here. That just, that happens. So that's why some people choose to use IPM. I, however, when I have naturals, I want to cut it with either Tech, which is um, triethyl citrate, triethyl citrate natural. This is a natural product. It is, it's, it's really very similar. It's a, kind of a little bit thicker than a water consistency. It's pretty much the same consistency as um, the IPM, maybe a little bit more watery, but this you can use to cut your naturals because it is a natural you can use it to break down your powders and your crystals um it will do that job on the that leads me to um agio clean multi this is not a natural but this is a workhorse for i use it for one reason yeah, one reason and one reason only, and that's to break down really difficult powders and crystals. So that's what this is for. Um, so you see there's some choices because you could use this or this to break down the powders. You can cut your... Um, things like uh, C, C12 MNA, um, the aldehyde, it's very, very strong and you need to cut it. You can cut it with your perfumer's alcohol or you can cut it with your IPM. So there's just some choices. Um, so I hope that is helpful. Then that leads me into some carriers. Um, a carrier is simply an oil, and the one that most perfumers use is fractionated coconut oil. Fractionated coconut oil is a, always in a liquid form, um, whereas your coconut oil that is not fractionated is going to be solid at 58, 78 degrees or below. It's going to be solid at room temperature. So that is why, and another reason for fractionated coconut oil is that there's no aroma in this. So the other thing I will tell you, very important, that I learned a lot of my stuff that I learned is from Alora Dillon, drop by drop, go check her channel out. So what I learned with this though is that the fat is I'm being very generic but I kind of want to be generic but the fat part of this is taken out meaning 
when you, I might just get a little deep again. So when you are, when you have your tuberose flowers, the way they extract those aromas out of the petals is to squish them between glass with a fat. And I used coconut oil, not fractionated because the coconut oil still has that fat in there and anytime you have fat think of butter in the refrigerator it abstracts the smells it absorbs odors so that coconut oil between the glass is going to absorb the aroma of the tuberose petals but if you use fractionated coconut oil and soaked the petals in this is not going to work because there's no fat for it to absorb. And the fat is not there for it to do the properties of absorbing the aroma. But using this in your like roll-on for perfume is perfect. This is what this is for. That's what I, that's what I use this for. It's perfect. So there's no coconut aroma in this at all. Um, <clears throat> the other thing I I think I wanted to go into um, were I guess some olfactory families, and there are top notes and those are the things that are very very volatile volatile very very light and those are going to be your citruses and some spices um like uh some things like eucalyptus is going to be a top note um Peppermint is going to be a top note. That's going to be pretty volatile and not stay there very long. And then there are going to be some different spices. So we're going to go to the, it's called a heart note or the middle note. People use that, those words interchangeably. And it's going to be your florals, um, your greens, and some spices. So now think of spices like clove cardamom um i'm just gonna say it but i'm gonna get a tiny bit deep here so like clove is more of a hot and cinnamon are hot spices and cardamom is a cool or cold spice just i just threw that in there for extra and then there's going to be base notes and your base notes are the notes that stay there a pretty good amount of time and it's going to be the last thing that you're going to smell. This is going to be your woods, your plant musk, um, your animalics, your resins, and your um, balsam, balsamic um, aromas. So those are going to be your base notes. I just wanted this to be pretty basic, so um, I hope that's helpful. Some other things that are pretty helpful are the little clips, like chip clips. And what I do is I use these six, um, a five ml little vials, and there are two ml little vials, and they fit right in here perfectly so they don't fall over while you're creating your. Um, formula and you always have a notebook and a pen and you write down I give a number and a name to every single thing that I do everything if I make an accord it has a number it I don't care if it's a you know and if I, if I make a formula for a perfume it has a number so I don't care what I'm making so on every single one of my accords that I make I have a number. I put my number on there um, as well as other things that I make. This is a key lime accord and it's number 465. I've put the number on there. Why? Because 
when you're like Key Lime Accord and you start getting multiple books, journals that you have, then you're going to be like, oh God, what journal is it in and what page? But you can go, oh, because they're in order, I can go straight to 465 and know exactly where it is. And I don't start over, personally, I don't start over number one with a new book. I keep going, so I'm on num number 477 right now. And I just keep on going even with a new book. So I hope that is helpful. Let me show you some other stuff because we're doing basics. Some other things that are mm, pretty basics. I use colored permanent markers and I... underline this is a floral so I have it in pink so all my florals I underline the name of it in pink this is what I do I'm just sharing what I do you don't have to but it helps me visually so when I'm looking at my stuff I know although I put all my florals together and all my woods are together the other thing that is helpful is I make these little pens or whatever but they're droppers they're they do a drop at a time so this one is coconut fractionated coconut oil and I have two or three so I don't have to refill them all the time of perfumers alcohol um, all the ones that I just showed you so that's another thing that I do that is helpful so that is perfumers basics and I hope this was helpful. And if you like this, just click like, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, join us. I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next Mountain Aromatics. Have a good day.